Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and welcome back to another episode of This or That, where we're going to compare two Samsung QLED TVs, the Q60C against the Q70C. So in this video, you're going to know which one is going to be the best one for you. Should you spend more money or should you save some money? So sit back and relax. Let's get started. First thing first, let's talk about some of the similar options that you have available on both TVs. As you can see, they come with the exact same remote control with the solar panel on the back. Another thing that's similar to both of these TVs is that all the sizes are vertical alignment panels. They're all edge lit with dual backlights and they're eight bits with two bits of frame rate control. And both TVs can do a calibration with a smart device using the SmartThings application. So that's a pretty cool feature if you're not a calibrator. Now, if you need different sizes, the Q60C is available from a 43 inch all the way up to 85 inch. And the Q70C is available from a 55 inch all the way up to 85 inch. And the last thing I wanna mention that both TVs do run off the new Samsung Tizen 7.0 operating system. So you have all the features like your gaming zone, your search modes, as well as getting through all the different connections and all that good stuff. But I'm pretty sure you clicked on this video to see the differences. And that's what we're gonna talk about now. The first example I want to show you on both TVs is SDR content using YouTube TV. And to me, it appears that the Q60C has better colors and the Q70C has just a little bit more brightness using the same exact settings, but both TVs look pretty good so far. I also want to show you guys how dark the picture quality is. And to me, again, it seems like the Q60C has better black levels than the Q70C. And this is very unexpected to me because I expect that the Q70C would be much better in every way, especially because it is a 120 hertz panel. But I wanna take a step further. Let's look at some of the presets on this. So that's filmmakers mode, echo mode, standard, and dynamic. And again, that Q60C, the black levels are so much better. Again, these are factory presets. So that was very interesting to see that difference. And what I want to do is just tone my camera down just a little bit, and we're gonna try the contrast enhancer, see if that helps out this Q70C to come in a little bit better. All right, let's go ahead and try the contrast enhancer. So that's completely off. That's on low, that's on high. And again, to me, the Q60C is much better. So watching movies is very important. So if you used to buy these TVs, what should you expect? So what I did is I pulled up Ant-Man on Disney Plus and I played some clips just to see the different colors in HDR. And the thing is, is that there's some clips that stands out to me and I'll show you that in a minute. But the biggest thing I wanna show you guys is the differences between the different picture modes. So you can see the different colors of the tones of both TVs. Here's dynamic mode, here's standard. You see it just has a slight different brightness there. Then we go into eco mode, not many differences from the standard mode. Then we have the movie mode. Again, I'm not a big fan of movie mode, but that's what it looks like. And then we have filmmakers mode. But again, you would have to choose which one is the best for you. So after playing movies on these TVs, it looks like the Q70C has better pictures, better brightness, but I can't help but notice something. I wanna show you guys some different scenes on that movie that I just showed you guys and tell me what you think. It seems like the Q60C looks better on some images and the Q70C looks better on other images. And I just can't figure it out, but let's continue. The Q60C uses the quantum 4K light processor that can handle up to 60 frames per second and it supports HDMI 2.0 and the Q70C uses the quantum 4K processor that supports HDMI 2.1 and up to 120 hertz. One of the things that they added to the Q70C is that over here, you can run multi-view casting. And if we scroll down to it, what this means is that you can automatically have content like from your YouTube mobile app to play on the TV instead of having to manually press it on your device. Now, when you put the gaming mode on both of these TVs, you can see that the Q70C does have more options. So not only that you have your virtual aiming point, but it adds a surround sound as well as a dynamic black equalizer. And there's also a gaming picture expert mode where you can go in here and get HDR10 and uh, you have HDR, which you also see on the Q60C. <laughs> So 
here's my final thoughts and keep in mind I do have a playlist on both TVs if you want to go check out more of the features, unboxing and things like that. But let's talk about the Q60C first. I think it had really good colors when it comes to your regular SDR content. It also has all the same functionality, it's 60 hertz, it's got a nice panel on it. So if you're the type of person who are really not into gaming, definitely go for that one. But if you're looking between the two and you are a gamer, I'll definitely go with the Q70C. And the reasons why is because it's 120 hertz. You have four HDMI 2.1s on it. It also has those unique gaming settings. And overall, I like the design on it a little bit better because of the base is floating and stuff like that. So that's my conclusion on this video. And hopefully I give you guys enough information so you can make the best decision for yourself. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.